Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel with the Beck. I am starting up my planner again. I've actually been using it for maybe a month from the point that I'm recording this. So like around December time was when I started up using a planner again. Um, I basically, well first of all, I have a, a little update. So I am now a full-time employee at my job. Yay! I've been kind of like waiting and wishing and hoping on that for a year, so I'm glad that it came to fruition. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be a pretty big shift in my life and like how much time I have to work on certain things and how much time goes to work and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, that's kind of the driving force between like all five of my goals that I made. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little bit of background. Um, as for like the planner setup I'm doing, I'm doing just like a bluish teal theme because um, it's still winter and it's cold and you know if it's going to be cold at least it gives you like pretty blue. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I figured I'd just talk about some of my goals for the upcoming year. Um, I don't have anything super crazy. A lot of them are getting back to how I used to do things. But yeah, with that being said, let's start. My goal number one is to be healthish. So I'm not aiming to be the healthiest person in the world, but I have a few things like supplements that I haven't been taking because I've been too busy or whatever I tell myself. Um, and I have been like forgetting to take some of my medications sometimes. So I have a new like pill case on my keychain so that I can't forget my medication because if I leave the house, at least I'm going to have it on my keychain. Um, and just like making some more like steps forward with my ARFID, which if you don't know, ARFID is like a restrictive food intake disorder um, related to autism. And yeah, I've dealt with that my whole life, but I've been doing a lot better with trying new things. Um, I haven't found any new things that have like stuck super hard, but it's the act of trying things over and over that's beneficial. So yeah, I'm going to try to keep up with that. Um, I actually have been maintained my goal weight from last year. Um, I had, I gained like 10 or 12 pounds or something and I was able to like keep it on. So I'm going to try to maintain that. I'm not going to specifically try to gain any more weight, um, cause I'm at healthy weight now, but yeah. Um, my next goal is to keep up with my planner. I don't know if I'm going to also do a bullet journal, but I do want to have like just the little, um, checklist for every month that's like bullet journal style and like tape that into the monthly of my planner so I can reference it um and yeah that's mainly just because um especially because I'm going to be at work more than I was um I really need to keep on top of like when I need to do certain things whether they're for work or not and like when I organize something I want to make sure that I have it written down and I do use Google Calendar but a lot of the Google Calendar things are like way in advance and then I like to transfer them to my planner when it's like the week of. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to use my planner more. Hopefully every week I might not do like a full decoration and I definitely won't be doing a video of my planner every week but I am going to be getting back into it. Um, and yeah. Uh, on kind of the same page as that is like my online presence. I kind of took a break for a while uh, and that was due to a whole bunch of stuff that I don't really want to get into because it's just too many things. Um, but a combination of like where I lived and like my living situation in terms of like money and stuff really sucked. So I'm hoping that this year I can be more present online and do more online marketing for my business um, as well as like going to more markets in person to sell my uh, my wares, my crochet stuff. Um, I want to make more YouTube videos as well. Um, again, maybe not every week, but I'm going to aim for that. I at least want to do two a month. Um, and then my final goal is just to get used to living in a house because I did move into a house um and it's a little different from having to clean a two-room apartment to clean a whole house so I'm currently working with my husband on making a schedule and like chore chart type of thing for that um and yeah there's just a few things that I'm trying to like sell or donate that are like scraggler items that I need to 
to get out of here and then I can make the house into a home if that makes any sense you know like adding decorative things and like making art specifically for certain rooms or that type of thing but yeah those are my goals and I'm pretty hopeful about them I'm a lot of them are just like putting in a little more effort in something that I have been doing or starting up something that I used to do again so I'm pretty I'm I'm like I can expect that I know how to how to do those things and keep up with them already uh, Miss Baby has visited us on the desk you can't see her right now but she is sniffing the phone <laughs> so yeah feel free to tell me in the comments what some of your goals for this upcoming year are and please give me suggestions for what kind of videos you'd like to see me make um, I do have like a backlog of ideas, but it helps when I know people want to see certain things. Like for example, if you need help with crochet, like you can't figure a certain aspect of crochet out, I could make a video to like try to explain it to you. I could also do like show and tell type videos of some things that I've made. And if you have any like specific patterns you want, oh, baby's causing a ruckus. But yeah, if you if you have any like little amigurumi patterns you'd like me to make, let me know that as well. And here's my finished week. Have a good one. Bye.